Yeah, um, one thing I want to start on with this one is uh, I want to applaud your, uh, your UI and art in general. Uh, it was really good. Uh, it really you know, told the story that uh, you know, for uh, this game. Uh, another thing I want to compliment is the visibility of the pickups. Uh, you kind of had like, you know, dark tones with uh, the level, but being able to have those pickups be visible like that really drew the eye and also kind of gave direction to where I needed to go. Um, the only thing that, uh, that I kind of want to harp on is just that there were points where the combat was a little bit unforgiving. Mainly uh, there were situations where I would walk around a corner and there's three dudes there and I can only, you know, do like maybe one attack like every few seconds. But, you know, they're allowed to just spam me. Uh, there was a point where I think I had took about maybe five minutes to get past one spot, but uh, once I got past that spot, uh, everything kind of opened up and, you know, it was, uh, it was a lot better after that, so, yeah. Okay, I'll go next. Um, so, the snow effects, as soon as I came out of that first room, movie, I was like, this is awesome. Uh, and this is exactly like the types of games I could tend to play. When I found a power-up, I was like, this is it. I'm going to go check every single corner of the cranny and find the power-ups. I did not know that finding more power-ups gives me the bad ending. So that's like a really interesting choice, like narratively, to say like the more you powerful you make yourself, you're going to get a, a different ending. Um, uh, I love that you have like cinematics to kind of set up the, the context and the premise of the world. Um, it was really difficult. Like this corner in the video right now, I could not actually get past this corner because I get shot like twice and I panic and I'm back out of the room and then I would try to like peek around the corner because I couldn't get to the gun faster than they could kill me. So I do appreciate that you put the video on the page so I could actually walk, uh, watch it a couple of times and like see the whole experience. Um, uh, what else I have? They, I mean, the, the concept is great, and I really wanted to get to the whole game, which is like the difficulty was like the biggest thing that I got stuck on. Um, and I do like the attention to detail we were talking about, like the intentional thought you put behind the level design and using like warm and cool colors to kind of like signify different things. Um, it was like, I'll, you, I can tell a lot of thought went through that as well. Um, the cutscenes, the animated cutscenes, exceptionally good, very stylish. That was very impressive. Um, overall, the art style is great. Um, like Crystal said, the snow effects um, very charming. Um, I did not make the connection with the chips um, either, uh, so that's it's just not in the game that connection. In fact, in that opening cutscene where it sees her find the first chip and put it in and gives me a plus one in blue text, that implies I should be getting as many chips as possible. And you wanted it to be a choice. Um, I guess it's a choice that I didn't have to find them all, but I thought I should be looking for them. I thought that was the point. So you just have to find some way to tell people what what their choices mean. Um, without that explanation you just gave, I would never have made that connection. Um, but really, beautiful game, uh, too hard. It is actually harder to make things easy sometimes, um, unless you use really ham-fisted things, like just make yourself super, super powerful. But for demo modes or something, having people be too powerful, having it be too easy, I would advise to generally do that. You can always make it harder later. So, but let, let people see what you want them to see. Make yourself powerful. Let them one-shot people if that's what it takes. Balance is difficult, but balance towards easy, at least for demos. 